Greetings. I've had a couple requests for how to do piecewise functions when you're using the, the Desmos graphing tool. Big fan of this uh, www.desmos.com as a graphing calculator, if you've never used it. Um, good example here of why we can do a piecewise function. Now here's a very basic piecewise. We have two pieces. They're both linear. Domain of one is less than or equal to one. The domain of the other piece is greater than one. Okay, so we have two, two pieces and they're both linear. Now, this is the syntax for piecewise in Desmos when you first look at it. Um, for, for those of you that aren't programmers, it could look a little intimidating, but let me just walk you through um, what each piece means. Basically, obviously, y is equal to is our function. Now we're capturing the entire all of the pieces within our braces. So you're gonna put braces on the outside. Okay, so we start with braces. Now, this is kind of backwards syntax from what we're used to with piecewise. We're gonna define the domain of the piece first, right? So this piece is, we're saying X is less than or equal to one. So we're saying in this piece here, our function is going to be, and we're gonna introduce it by putting a colon. So we're saying when x is less than or equal to one, the function is gonna be y is equal to x minus three. Okay, so here's our first piece down here. Everywhere from negative infinity to one. Okay, it's this function. Now we're gonna separate our pieces with a comma. Okay, now we're gonna define the domain of the second piece. We're gonna say x is um, greater than one. And now we have to say, well, what is the function on that piece? So we say again, colon, we're introducing the function and we're gonna say for that piece greater than one, it's gonna be X plus one. And close our braces and we have our piecewise function. Notice that um, the dividing line is the vertical line. X is equal to one is where our function breaks off. Okay, now we don't have the open circles and the closed dots that you're, what, that you're used to graphing if you're in a, a normal like Algebra 2 class. All right, but notice that when we get to the end of this function, sorry, I can't I gotta get my slider working here, that is definitely at one, the function is defined at negative two. When you come on this side and you approach it from positive infinity, notice it never actually gets to one, right when it gets to 1.01 is what you can visually see and then it jumps automatically just jumps down to the function there So you never see it defined at one up here, which is the same as when you're graphing it as an open circle. Okay, so this is your um, Syntax for piecewise give it a try. We have two pieces separated by a comma and you're going to define the domain first colon and then Your piece of the function hope this helps we um, hope to get some more Desmos videos going. I do like this tool a lot